Hello again ladies and gentlemen, I'm back, your friendly neighborhood Oxhorn, and with this video I'm going to be talking about the new vault Tech Population Management System, which is a really cool new feature that uh, they frankly should have had for a long time, but I'm very glad that they've uh, published it with the vault Tech Workshop. So let's log into this terminal and I'll show you how it works. There are three options here, and like other terminals, you can load a holotape, so for example we could load the settlement management software with this. The settlement management software is a mod um, that gives you a lot of settlement management tools that this terminal is now trying to give you as well. So let's talk about the first option, find jobs for the unemployed. What it does is it searches your entire facility looking for jobs and it says no jobs available. Well, we can quickly remedy that situation by putting down something that requires a, a settler to work it, like a shop. There we go. So I've got a shop here, and it doesn't have anyone assigned to it because I just built it. So let's go back in, find jobs for the unemployed, and look, I I have an available unemployed settler to assign to the junk store. Assigned a junk store. How many people do you want to assign to the new job? Only one, because that's the only option available. Now, if these were guard towers, for example, uh, you, you can have one settler assigned to a number of different guard towers, but uh, typically you'll only have one option here and it'll randomly find an available settler and assign it automatically to that resource. That way you don't have to go track down an unassigned settler and assign them to the resource. It automatically does it for you. Pretty handy. All right, what else is in here? The next option is vocational overview. And this gives us a very quick overview of which settlers have which jobs. As you can see, I now have one settler assigned to a junk dealer and I did that just a moment ago. You saw me do it. And you can remove the settler from that job if you want, which is great. A much better way of managing settlers and their assigned tasks. Uh, it also shows uh, when you have unemployed. So I've got two unemployed settlers. And from here, I could directly assign them to jobs if I wanted to. Another useful feature. Now this it's pretty interesting. Access VIP Tracker. This is used to track all of your companions. Uh, so uh, if you want to find out which, uh, where one companion is, you can click Show Preston Garvey, right? And then Preston Garvey will appear on my map. Or let's say that I've lost all of my companions. I can click Show All Companions and boom, 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 boom. It goes through every single one of them. And the way that this works is it gives you a new quest um, over here called Overseer's Most Wanted. And as long as you have it selected, you can pop open your map and then look at that. All of my, all of my companions are listed exactly where they are. Hancock is at the Sunshine Tidings Co-op. Uh, I've got Dog Meat and Deacon at the Red Rocket Truck Stop. I'm just not realizing that almost all of them are at the far extremes. I've got Preston Garvey at the castle, of course, because, hey, he's he's a Miniman guy. I'm sure he's going to feel at home there. And uh, apparently I have everyone else in the northern extremes of the map. Strong is at the slog. So a great way to track down all of your companions. Then if you want to turn this off because you don't want it to clutter up your quest log, just go to Access VIP Tracker and shut down the tracker. That turns everything off, cleans up your map, so now we no longer have all of those markers all over the place like we normally did. It also removes the uh, quest object there. So pretty cool. Uh, it's a basic, uh, a basic array of different tasks that you can do. The settlement management software is much more useful in my opinion uh, because it shows you things like spawn points and you can actually unassign set settlers from other settlements from one terminal in a far off settlement if you want. But this is still a really cool tool and this is going to replace most of the terminals that I use just because it can be used in combination with the settlement management software and any other holotape that runs off of a terminal. So a really cool new uh, little uh, addition thanks to Bethesda that came with the vault Tech Workshop. Uh, thanks very much guys. You guys make awesome DLCs and thanks all of you for watching. If you have any other questions about the management system that I didn't answer in this video, please ask me in the questions below. And if you have any other questions about anything else that came with vault Tech Workshop, let me know and I'll do my very best to produce a video to answer them for you. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more Fallout 4 and vault Tech Workshop content and I'll see you all very soon.